hello everyone and welcome back now today I am in a place called Godzill on the Isle of Wight and I've come to this gorgeous medieval church that's just behind me I'm going to be using it as the subject of today's photo uh, but it's not the only thing I'm going to be using the other part is going to be the moon so the moon is rising up behind this church this evening in about an hour's time so I'm going to have to leave this location and head off to where I want to take the photo from because we're going to be using a telescopic lens from about a mile away from the church across the fields so that we can get that big moon photo but I thought I'd come down and show you the church because the legend behind this church is a brilliant one I think that back when they were building this church they were had it down on flat foundations flat easy accessible place accessible sorry place down down in the village and every single morning the builders would come back from work in that day and all of the stone would have been moved up to the top of this hill now after a while the builders had taken the stones back down to the original place started building again but after a little bit they gave up and they built the church up on this hill now I think that's a great little legend I couldn't tell you if it's true or not I wasn't there but anyway I like the story but for now I'm gonna take the walk to where we're going to actually take the photo uh, so I'm gonna head back to the car pick up my stuff and walk across the fields up to the lane let's get on with it <laughs> Come up to the location where I'm wanting now. We are roughly a mile away from the church. The church is in the background over that direction. And I'm using the Nikon Z6 with the FTZ mount along with my Tamron 100 to 400 for this shot. And I'm at the present moment focused completely on the church. Uh, that's all in focus. Now turn my camera off because I've got about half hour until this moon rises it's going to come up on the left hand side of the church and over the top so fingers crossed as long as all goes to plan because there is a slight bank of cloud directly on the horizon uh, but as long as things go to plan we're going to get this shot this evening i'm going to start off using a low aperture of f 6.3 at 1 60th of a second because I'm wanting it to take quite a quick shot so that the moon is nice and sharp and detailed. Uh, but yeah, we're going to hang around for a bit and see what happens. Ah, the moon is absolutely gorgeous. It's now up on the right hand side of the church and the church is lit up. Absolutely lovely. So I'm going to take a few more shots. And then what I'm probably going to do afterwards is once I get these home, I'm going to run it through Lightroom and take you through the process of how I edit my moonshots and you can see the final photo then now what i'm going to do first of all is just hit auto and it already brings the picture to life slightly but i'm still not 100 percent happy with this so i will first off all is do the crop and now that will show you and show me because i want the photo to finish this size um how the big moon happens so you've got the whole area here with the houses the field the church and the moon but i only want this section so i'll bring my crop in to about here and then down and try and make it center about here and then straight away you've already got the large moon the moon is taking up a fourth of the picture uh, but again it's still quite overexposed so I'm going to bring the exposure down slightly to about here and the contrast I'm going to bring it down a bit I don't like adding too much contrast uh, majority of the time I remove a bit of contrast just to flatten out the image now this is like 
just too dark and horrible. So here we go. Now, the highlights, shadows, whites and blacks, the auto has done that for me and I'm, I'm happy with what they've decided to use. So I'm going to leave them. Uh, texture is the next one and I'm going to bring that up quite a bit because I like to bring the detail out in the building and then the clarity I'm just going to add a tiny amount of clarity not too much and then the dehaze just a bit of that now the saturation I'm just going to bring that down a tad because the moon's a bit too orange and so is the light that's lighting up the church there we are a little bit better and then we're moving to um, the tone curves and here I'm going to bring the highlights down to about minus 40 because it is evening time and I want a darker look and I'm going to bring the lights down as well to about minus 20 give or take yeah we'll leave it at that and then the darks and the satur um sorry the darks and the shadows I'm going to pop that down to about minus 15 both of them they're looking good right now and so that's that bit done. We're then going to pop down to the sharpening. I'm going to hold down Alt and use the mask in here to bring up what I actually want sharpening. Because here, th th this effect really telling you to sharpen the whole picture, which is not what I want to do. So I'm going to bring that masking up to about here because I only want to sharpen around the edges of the building the moon and the hedge and I'm going to bring that up to about 80 don't really need to add any noise reduction I'm happy with the quality of the photo uh, turn these two on as always you can see I used my Tamron 100 to 400 on this and uh, the auto is okay not the auto sorry that's all right my effects and the last bit I'm going to do is just hit the saturation here on the blue primary round about just short of 50 and it gives me more of a pop that uh, like a, a color that I, I enjoy so and then the last bit I'm just going to put a circular just to darken the moon slightly and then I'm happy with that just to bring it out because I don't want to just want that part darkened a bit uh, just bring the exposure down on this bit a little bit so all I've done really is added more contrast reduced a bit of uh, saturation and reduced the exposure a little bit and all in all I believe that might just add a little bit of exposure there we go no drop a bit of exposure there I'm happy with that and that is how we create the large moon with a good foreground thank you everyone for watching and if you are enjoying the content I am given out to you please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up so until next time see it capture it and make it yours